Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Anonymous here. I'm joined with my friend Alan. We're going to be playing Game of Thrones Pro, talking about different strategies. Trying to go for like in-game, short game, and maybe like a tournament strat. As well as explore a few of the other things in the game. So I'm going to let Alan start us off. And uh, do you want to do a one-player or two-player game? Yeah. Alright, we'll do two-player. And I'll just copy whatever strat he's doing. Okay, so I guess to begin with... I'm gonna start off with what I play for long game, just to show hopefully as much as about the game as possible. Uh, I'm gonna explain it like you haven't played it before, like you don't really know anything about it. So for those of you who know a little bit about it, bear with us. Um, so you'll notice that you, at the beginning of the game, you can choose any of the houses down here. Each house uh, has its own, uh, you'll see on the screen up, up here. Um, has its own ability, it has a passive and an active ability. We'll talk about those later. Um, I choose Targaryen for a few reasons, but um, the main thing about this game is your starting choice. It's kind of like Star Wars where you can pick a character and then depending on what that character uh, is, you can kind of take a different path through the game. So uh, we're gonna choose Targaryen here. I always short plunge on this game to get to the flipper without hitting any switches. I would recommend that no matter what your strategy is. There's not really a lot to be gained from shooting up into the pops. A skill shot isn't that great, and you can't get progress on anything, and it starts your ball saver. We so. get those three, uh, those three pop bumper awards. Sometimes the pop bumpers award you stuff. Yeah, but the well, the pops on this particular Game of Thrones don't really fire off that much. So I always go. Straight to the flipper here. You see we haven't even started Ball Saber. I always immediately start out by trying to light the left orbit. The left orbit is the purple shot. Uh, each You'll notice each shot is colored, and it corresponds to a different house on the play field. So the left shot is the purple shot. Hopefully you can kind of see that on the screen. That's the Greyjoy house. The reason I do that is because my, my initial goal is to light the Greyjoy house and the Lannister house while also getting to multi-ball because I want to bring both of those houses into multi-ball. I'll explain that later. So let's see if we can get this. So you light the house by hitting three shots to that particular shot. So it's one to uh, Greyjoy there. Great start. You can also backhand that shot if it's on the left flipper. Yeah, so the, the cool thing about Game of Thrones is that um, you can forehand and backhand literally every shot. Except for the dragon. Well, you can backhand the dragon. It's just not easy. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it, but you can do it. Okay, so... If I can get the ball here. So you can see that I've hit three shots to the left orbit, and that has turned this shot light blue. We're going to talk about light blue in a little while. Um, once you light a house, any of these houses, that will turn light blue. Uh, you can also see it's now flashing here. That means that we can challenge it. We can challenge uh, any house, or up to two at a time, by hitting, <clears throat> hitting the lock shot. We also lit the lock by hitting the two green targets over here. I either one of them will light the lock. Uh, you can forehand, meaning the left uh, flipper, uh, I guess technically it's a backhand, I don't know, whatever. You can you can hit the lock shot from the left flipper, it's a lot tighter from the left side than from the right side. But you can do it. So there's our first lock. Uh, now we get to choose our battle. Since we only have Greyjoy lit, we could play Greyjoy if we wanted to, but I'm not going to, I'm going to pass. So we get our second ball here. Plunge it up top. And from here, I'm basically going to try and cradle. Whoop. Second try. All right. That was essentially what I wanted to do, but a roundabout way of doing it. Again, light my lock. Locks do not stack in this game. So whenever you get a lock, you generally want to go ahead and shoot for it. So I've, I've lit Greyjoy. I also have two shots on Lannister already. So my next shot on Lannister will light it, which is good because essentially what I'm going to try and do is uh, I'm going to um, hit the, the white ramp here, then hit lock shot, then cradle the ball, then shoot the lock and start both those modes. You can backhand the white ramp, which is really good. 
And I'm going to shoot the light lock over here. Oh, next. I'll be doing the same thing he's, he's uh, doing. I like to go for these three targets at the beginning because it gives you ball save in the two outlines once. You did Targaryen. Where's my ball save? They see the top end lanes, maybe. So there's two in the. Did you talk about that middle? The, the top end lanes? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So our goal here, we're gonna short plunge. Um. And let's see. So our goal is to try and hit the lock. And I'm actually gonna try and post pass because I don't. I haven't started my ball save yet, so it's a free post pass. Because my, I want to hit the... It's not easy on this one. Yeah, it's not. I, I never post-pass on this game. And on I'm probably not... On most Game of Thrones, it's pretty easy. Going to be able to. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. So I'm going to do a, a backhand to the Stark shot, and then... No, I'm not. Whatever. It worked. it worked fine. So this shot should be... Okay. Now, the yellow... You can see those yellow flashing green yellow... extra ball so uh, a lot happened there in a very short period of time we played the multi ball uh, we played the multi ball we also finished our two houses so we hit all our shots uh, you can see that they're now lit solid once you light three houses solid then you light extra ball this is like the one of the biggest key early game strats, and one reason why uh, why Targaryen is really good is because if you choose House Targaryen, it starts completely finished, and it's the hardest one to finish. Correct. I don't know why I can't hit that shot. Yeah, sorry about the internet cut out. We're plugged in directly to the router too. Yeah, the end of your multi ball. Nice. Sorry.
Okay. So ball three here. We've already played our multi our easy multi ball. We got our extra ball lit, so that's that's prime goal is uh, short plunge to the flipper before ball save. Get as many shots on the dragon as we can to try and get our extra ball before uh, ball save runs out. We only need one. All right, unless it gives it back to me because of a stupid hurry up. All right, good. So extra ball, we got that. Uh, we're gonna get the ball back here. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this, even though I probably shouldn't. All right, good. Uh, nope. I, I always keep my gold till um, late game. The reason for that is you can buy an extra ball at 4,500 4, gold. There, there are very few awards in there that are actually worth it. Thank you, Sambuca. Okay, so now that we have our three houses done, uh, we got our extra ball, we're gonna play it right now. Uh, our next goal is to try and get to the mini wizard mode. The mini wizard mode is basically like the most attainable early to mid um, game uh, goal that, that you don't have to be super advanced, a super advanced player to get to, and it's where probably the most amount of uh, uh, opportunity for points is. So essentially, we need to play at least one more, um, one more house. So I'm gonna try and probably play Stark or Martell. That extra ball is complete three modes or play three modes. Complete. And then into the king is play or complete. Uh, complete. Yeah. So we, we lit Stark there. Cool. All right, we're going to play just Stark. And basically we can, these two shots in the middle, we, we loop those over and over again. We can do those as many times as we want, but we only have to do them three. And then we can cash out. It's really important to go ahead and get them done, because if we can, then... Uh, now Hand of the King is lit in the middle here. So this is the mini wizard mode for completing four modes. And if I can get to this, then uh, there's an opportunity for a lot of points. Every house you see on the screen here, it tells you it gives uh, a random, not a random, a different award or, um, or penalty depending on what house you beat. So I wanna hit all the white shots. Once I hit all the white shots, the battering ram will be lit for a super jackpot. So I just need the dragon shot. Super at the uh, battering ram. And it starts over. This, I think, is actually my um, my Stark Award, so it's 20 seconds of, of free shooting. Anyway, so you saw that was like 300 points or so, and I didn't even play it that well. We have another hurry up here. We'll talk about those in a little while. All right. So um, you'll notice that it says shoot the dragon shot. This is wall multi-ball. Wall multi-ball is gotten to by the upper two lanes. Way up there, you see, right there. Uh, you have to complete those, I think, six times. So it's 12, essentially 12 shots. Uh, you can do that towards the middle of the game. You can also focus it since the orbits are really easy to shoot on this game uh, and they have a good kick out from the right orbit. Uh, and so now we can try and bring a, um, that multi-ball in. Um, Our mode in? Yeah, uh, we have these modes, but these are, it's ball three, and I'd rather show the, I'd rather show the multi-ball yeah. than try and bring in, so, if I can. There we go. So wall multi-ball is cool, it's a multi-ball, it's not really a lot of points. So the goal, hopefully, is to try and use it late game to finish modes. So if you can, what you want to do is try and start a couple of modes and then start wall multi-ball. 
Well, multi ball has two phases. Oh, no, wait. Well, kind of two phases. You want to hit the hit the ramps here. It'll eventually light the dragon for a super. Double backhand there. He went for it. I did, I did. I mean, you got to swag at some point, right? Alright, so that's pretty good. Let's see how much we got. It's not gonna show it. Oh, 182. So that's actually um, really good, yeah. Okay, at this point, um, we're going, this is kind of like what I would call late game. Uh, we finished four houses, which means we don't really get any more bonuses for finishing, ho finishing houses until we get all seven of, or all eight of them finished. Seven, sorry. And that's wizard mode. So at this point, uh, what I want to do is start to work on the last three houses and try and get to Winter Has Come Multiball. Uh, Winter Has Come Multiball is based on hurry ups. So you saw me throughout the game hitting the hurry ups on the play field. Um, these light blue shots, like right here and right here, it's, you can't really see that one. Yeah, right there. Um, when you light a house, it turns, it turns light blue. When you hit that light blue shot three times, it starts the hurry up. Once you uh, uh, collect the hurry up, it turns that shot whatever color the house you chose is. So I chose Targaryen at the beginning of the game. So now this one is dark blue, this one is dark blue. So that means I've collected two. If you collect four, then you get to winner has come multi-ball. It doesn't look dark blue on stream. It doesn't, yeah. So that's what I was showing. Uh, so I have two already. I need to get two more. Um, not super easy considering it's ball three, but we're going to try it. All right, there's one. Two shots left on that. One shot left. Yeah, Aww. it's okay. We'll get it next game. So you can see that's that's my long strap. I'll I'll explain it more. It's there's a lot to it, but that's over a bill. So at this point, um, he's got two balls locked. He's got his Greyjoy house qualified. He's gonna try and collect the ball here, um, hit the lock shot, light the last lock, and then shoot the lock shot, and then try and do uh, Blackwater multi-ball uh, in the same way that I did by playing um, the red house and the purple house together. All right, light lock. I still don't know where that shot is. Yeah, it's pretty tight. Okay, so this is the setup. Now again, uh, Purple House is one of all five shots, uh, all five of the main shots from left to right. Um, re the Red House Lannister, you have to shoot the yellow stand-up targets, which of course is easy to do in multi-ball because you're gonna be flailing a lot. And then the yellow targets light the other shots red. Uh, so essentially he's basically trying to hit, the, the Greyjoy is the, the primary target here because the timer for Greyjoy is a lot less than Lannister. 
So uh, I prioritize purple shots over anything else and try and get one of each purple shot. So you can see now he has a center ramp, a right ramp, right orbit. So now right orbit and center ramp left. Good save. Nice. Hell yeah, that was a good one. All right, so he got all the shots, which means super jackpot is lit at the battering ram. Lit for a hot minute. Not that late though. So now he's just got a couple of shots. There we go. So uh, he completed his red mode and his purple mode, which means that he has now three completed modes and extra ball. Lit. Extra ball was lit. That's not a score. Nah. Okay, so. Um, Hopefully that explains a little bit about basic setup. Let's do, uh, I almost did winter has come last game, so let's, let's go right back into that. I'm gonna choose start because um, start increases the points for winter is coming, um, the, the hurry ups. And we're gonna try and just focus on that. So you'll notice that um, I chose Stark, and now Stark is the light blue color. So we're gonna try and qualify these other houses so we can get all these shots to be light blue, and then do the hurry ups for all those. Not like that. Okay. So now we qualify Greyjoy, that one's light blue as well. And I'm just gonna keep going. The easiest four to get are um, the four that you'll see me try for. The right ramp, which we've already got, the left orbit, which we just got, the right orbit, and the center shot. So the dragon is really difficult, and then these two you can also get, but they're really hard as well. We're not gonna play any houses because you can't get progress for the hurry ups while you play houses. There we go, so now he's got uh, three, three houses on the play field are light blue. And of course, you can start collecting these anytime you want. You don't have to get all of them light blue. Uh, whenever, you, whenever it becomes light blue and you hit that shot again, the, um, the screen will tell you how many shots you have before it will start to hurry up. Here's my third for Lannister. Uh, we're not gonna play. Should be last shot for Lannister here. Or not. Now, depending on where I capture the ball, I might shoot something else. The shot for the center ramp is really tight, so I'd rather backhand the left orbit. He'll give me the delayed shot here, there we go. 
That's actually really good. Uh, I tried it. Probably a bad idea, but... Um, I'm gonna backhand that. I'm gonna shoot right orbit. One more, one more to light orange. That's not a good shot. We have one more to start the hurry up on the center there. Give it back. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pick off the center. All right, so that's two down. We now have uh, left orbit, center ramp. We're gonna go ahead and try and pick off these two on the right. Better than, damn it. That's, that's three down, so now... Um, now you drain. <laughs> now you drain. So we're both at about the same. He's a little ahead of me. I think this is my last shot on Stark, maybe? Well, well, using this, will we be able to start a mode, two modes before getting in the winner's cup? Uh, you can, but you have to, it's, it's the hardest thing to time, because what you have to do, you have to start the last hurry up. Then you, before the hurry up ends, you have to shoot the, choose your battle, and then choose your, your two houses, and then hit the hurry up. So it's the hardest to make work right. Have we done it? I forgot. I have, um, yeah. not on stream, but. Great. All right, there's three down. Yeah, this is just uh, more or less Sabuka understanding what it is. This is not a, um, a strat by any means, uh, or a high score thing or anything. It's just kind of a cool part of the game that you rarely get to. It's pretty fun. All right, so in theory, I have uh, two more shots. There's one. There's this. Okay. So this is the this is the multi ball. It has two modes. What's called the horde mode, which is right now, where you have to hit all these shots. And then the general. So you have to fight the horde and then fight the general. If you don't like make your shots, like if you don't shoot the shots on the left or shots on the right, it will freeze the flipper. So that's a that's a really cool thing that I've never like seen in another game before. It um it does that. That's the second part of the multi ball. I can't, 
hit that damn shot. Well, we saw it for a second. Maybe Patrick will be able to do a little better. Okay, at this point, we're going to actually try and play something. See what my mystery is. Yeah, see, these are both garbage. We're going to go multi ball. Yeah, right. I forgot my progress. I oh, finished the so, left one. So uh, Patrick said he forgot his progress, but you can actually tell where your progress is. Every shot that's white, which is the housey pick, start, is one he's already finished. Okay. So you have three done, and then you have two houses that you haven't lit yet. Well, four, but you, we're not going to worry about the bottom two. So it would be whatever house color I, I, I Yeah, so what I would recommend is shooting for the right orbit, because right orbit is the easiest shot out of those four. And then once you light that house, you know you have three shots left. Uh, I haven't explained mystery yet, but um, I can for sure. So uh, mystery is lit by hitting all of the the stand-up targets, so all of the yellow um, little circles, the, the, the coin or whatever it's called. Uh, and you hit when you hit the stand-up targets, you collect gold. And depending on how much gold you have, the mystery awards you uh, two different options to choose from based on the, uh, like I said, the amount of gold. Uh, a lot of the options are garbage in my opinion. There are some high point, uh, uh, high gold options that are really good. The best one being extra ball, light extra ball, I think, instead of actually extra ball. But uh, so I tend to go for either that, which is at 4,500, or late game, it will ask you if you want to light a house. And um, and lighting houses late game, no, especially if it's uh, oh, okay, cool. We're gonna go back into this. Hold, I'll, I'll I'll finish this later. I'm not going to talk. Okay. So, uh, first phase of this, he just wants to hit every shot he can. I don't think you have to hit all seven. I think you have to hit four or five of them to, to change it over to the, the second um, phase of the multi ball. No. Well, it's no start yet. Yeah. So just trying to hit these remaining uh, three lit shots here. You'll see that he hit the he hit the well there he goes. hit the battering ram, which started his play field multiplier. We'll talk about that in a little while. Uh, yeah, so mystery um, has a lot of awards. Most of them aren't that great. I go for extra ball. I also will use it late game to light the um, the houses that you see at the bottom, the yellow and the green. The Baratheon on the yellow, the drop target, so I don't have to uh, risk losing my ball shooting for those. And Terrell on the right, the green, uh, so I don't have to risk my ball shooting those. That's really useful, and it doesn't take a lot of gold either. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to shoot them out as we play. I'm happy to answer. Hoping that would finish Greyjoy, but it finished uh, Lannister. 
try and get you to that extra ball. So you can see on the screen it shows, uh, well, shit. I was going to explain how quick the timer is on Greyjoy, but it timed out before I could. So he has extra ball lit, which I'm assuming is a, a Pops award because he didn't, he shouldn't have been able to light it any other way. Yeah, no worries. Uh, at this point, in my opinion, the goal is to try and get to extra ball. So uh, I would shoot the lock shot. I would start two houses. Your your I, your goal is to either finish Greyjoy, which has three shots, but it's probably the hardest out of the three modes, or to play Stark and Martell. If you're gonna, I would play Stark. I would play. You definitely want to play two. So it's up to you which two. So. Go ahead. Yeah, no, what do I so what do I go for this? If okay, these two pair really well together. I'll talk about this later on. Uh, the white and the orange, I recommend always playing together. The reason for that is because you can loop the start uh, center shot three times, and then the fourth shot is to cash out at the left orbit. That left orbit is also the very first shot of Martell. So that's what I recommend doing. You can also go the opposite way if you'd like and hit three orbits for the Martell shot, and then cash it out at the center shot, and then do start. There is a, a more complicated strat, which I'll try and show um, one of these games in a little bit, where I actually play these two together, and I alternate shots very purposefully to build up multiplier and get the most points out of the two modes together. So he's shooting center ramp, there he goes. So you can cash out at the left. So his goal here, cash out on the left or right orbit. Martell actually timed out. That was weird. I would do the same thing. Uh, the, the Stark mode, well, most of the modes will uh, keep progress. So... His goal here, in my opinion, is to try and get back into both of those modes and try and finish them again. Same uh, Martell and Stark? Yes. Now, I think you can... I think you'll only have to hit one Stark shot before you cash out. What is the mystery? Uh, it should just be a mystery. A mystery award, not a multi-ball. Yeah, so you want to Stark. There you go, left orbit. There you go, so Stark is done. Now, um, he wants to hit two more orbit shots in a, uh, in 10 seconds. So it's a good amount of time, but it is, you know, it is a short. There you go. Damn. So he was essentially, oh, there's the extra ball. Yeah, because I dire whooped it. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. So that's, uh, I could have I could have dire whooped it after completing you Stark. You definitely could have. And then extra ball would have been done. Yep. Damn. So that's a weird stroke. That's like understanding uh, where it's come. All right, what do you want to do next? Uh, good question. Let's do... I'm actually going to do what I just talked about, where I try and stack those two modes and show the alternating shot deal. So you're going to do a start? start I'm going to do Tyrell. And I'm going to try and light Martell and Stark and play those two together. Okay. Okay, so I have, um, it's not like an amazing, super crazy strat, but it will illustrate really well a couple of other features on this thing that we haven't talked about. Um, I'm going to play Tyrell. Tyrell's uh, passive uh, benefit is that the in-lane light, there's a light over the in-lane on each side, one of them will be lit at all times. You can use the flipper button to move it back and forth. If the ball hits that in lane when that light is um, is lit, it changes the shot multiplier for the play field. Now we haven't talked about shot multipliers yet. Um, I guess it's 
probably better to start and then show once I can show you up on the screen. Okay, so you can see there's my, my in-lane light. And uh, my goal here is to try and get both of these houses lit. And what I, what I recommend doing is when I shoot one of these shots, or when, it, when you see the ball roll over one of these in-lanes, check out the, the DMD. Because the DMD is gonna show you uh, uh, five different numbers at the bottom. And it's gonna say 1x, 1x, 1x across the bottom. And, and this in-lane will raise that 1x. So what it does is it raises the multiplier for each of these five main shots. And then he immediately loses the ball. So there you go, it changed it to 3x. Now, now normal, normal ball play, that's not, doesn't matter at all. But once you get into modes, once you get into multi-balls, those multipliers are really important. All right. I don't know this shot, so he's gonna have to instruct me. Uh, so the goal, what I'm gonna try and do in this game is get two houses lit, play those houses at the same time, and really utilize those multipliers to show you how, how high the modes can get, individual mode shots. So yeah, try and light Stark, try and light uh, Martell. And then you can see on the DMD at the bottom, right, the, the 1x, 2x, etc. That is your multiplier for each of the five main shots on the playfield. It can get up, I think, to 6x, I believe. I'm not really sure. You have to unlock that multiplier with swords or no? Yes. I think so, yeah. I think it can go, I think, them, I, yeah. I think, uh, I think it can go up to 3x as like a soft cap. And then you can you can get the sword shot when uh, when that is lit to increase that, but that's uh, that's advanced stuff. We're not really worried too much about that. It's gonna take me a couple of games to get this playing like this. All right, that should be start. Can't forehand that. Orbit. Came back in here. All right, so two more shots for Martel there. That backhand is one of the like the the coolest feeling shots on this thing for sure. It's really tight, but if you can do it, it's such an odd shot to be able to hit. You can't do it on most machines, so really nice. All right, so we, we've lit both of our houses. Okay, before I do this, hopefully I can do it without losing the ball. I'll explain what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot the center shot and I'm gonna start uh, Stark and Martell. The Stark mode will light both of these shots in the middle white. I have to hit any of those at least three times before I can cash out the mode on the left orbit or the right orbit. The Martell mode is the exact opposite. I have to hit three orbits, either left orbit or right orbit, and then cash out at the center shot or the right ramp. So they're inverted. And what I like to do in, in this strat is I'm gonna hit the center shot, and then it's gonna come back around to this right in lane. I'm gonna use the Terrell multiplier to multiply all of my, my main shots, and then I'm gonna shoot left orbit. I'm gonna, it's gonna go all the way around, I'm gonna capture, I'm gonna shoot the center shot again, and I'm gonna repeat that over and over. And because I'm shooting alternating shots and I'm not shooting the same shot over and over again, the play field multiplier is gonna go up and up. If you do this late game and you have the, the play field multiplier where, um, like we were talking about, where you can get it up to 6x, uh, then it's really, really cool. It's probably gonna stop at 3x, but we'll, we'll see. So I'm gonna go center shot. Well. I really want it on the left flipper here. It's okay, I'm gonna use in lane. I'm gonna go orbit, I'm gonna capture. Center shot, left orbit, capture. Center shot, left orbit. There we go. And now last shot for Martel here. Loved it. 
actually don't technically have to hit this shot to finish the mode, but um, I'm gonna. There we go. So I didn't see the Stark um, point value. It was like an 85, it wasn't like crazy. We're gonna go ahead and go Tyrell. Yeah, so 117. So he's trying to just finish the mode for uh, extra ball. No? And then use my, my multipliers and my combos. Uh, can you see? Can they, yeah, they can see the white arrows or the red arrows. So you can see the red arrows on the play field. It works kind of the same way that it does in Star Wars, where if you hit a shot and then you hit a different shot, um, it combo multiplies all of the other shots. seconds. Let's see if we can hit it. Oh, we hit it. Oh, there we go. So you can see we're at 5x on all of our shots. And that was because of the combos I was hitting and because of the end lanes. I'm lost too. I'm gonna try the same thing. Yeah, I I don't like this try. It can be. I've seen the multipliers really climb really high, though. But that's not what I would have chosen to show off. Okay. So, we're not in a great spot here. I'm glad we got to do that little strat. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try and do multi-ball. We're going to do status report and see how many balls we got left. Two balls. Okay, so that's my multi-ball right there. Um... I should be able to bring Lannister in with Tyrell. So if I can complete both of those, then I'll have Hand of the King ready when I come out of multiball. So that's actually a really good thing. I didn't like Lannister somehow, so that sucks. But I definitely want to try and finish Tyrell. So any green shot, so it's basically going to be alternating between those. This one right here. Damn it. There it is, and then there, nope. I want to hit the, uh, there we go. Did I finish it? I got extra ball lit. Damn, trap up. What is Tyrell's button ability? Shitty. It's uh, cash out all your multipliers for the Iron Bank. It's not good. The passive ability is really good. The active, not so much. So I'm, 
doing really bad. I'm basically trying to post pass, but do the roundabout way, because you can't post pass very well in this game. So I do left orbit to pops, and then uh, right orbit to right flipper. I also get progress on my wall, wall multiball. And now, well, poop. I would have had that. That foot didn't stick. So he's going to try and um, basically complete these two modes. It doesn't really matter the order necessarily, but if you can alternate the shots, then it, it increases your playfield multiplier on those shots because of the red arrows. You'll see uh, after he hits one shot, all the other shots have their red arrows lit. There you go. Stab. So 106 for that one shot there. Two hundred and thirteen. So we got two hundred and thirteen for one one mode, which um, is is really solid points. There you go. So green mode alternates between the upper play field and the lock shots. And now he's going to use this multi ball to try and finish the green mode. So a uh, right ramp for Tyrell. timed out. So you just want to go left orbit and then uh, super. So his mode timed out before he finished it, but he got a, a bunch of progress on it. So now left orbit, that lights super jackpot at the battering ram. Shit! Poop. Almost had extra ball in there. Let's do, let's do the Martell baby strap. Okay, you want to do that, and I'll do. You want to do the same thing, or what? Yeah, I'd like the same thing for. It's, it's basically what we've been doing as far as the multi balls. Yeah, but just expand, like, just ex, exp, like understanding, like the basic. Okay, so. Uh, Martell is the house that I started out with um, when I first started playing this game. The reason for that is what you see on the screen there. Um, the action button adds a ball. And it only adds a ball during multi-ball. But it's really the, the only add a ball you can get in multi-balls. You know, and it's only with uh, once per ball. Only once per ball, yeah. So if you play two different multi-balls in the same ball, you can only get the add a ball once. Uh, but it helps out with Blackwater multi-ball a lot. Um, once I learned about the other strategies in the game with other houses, I moved on from Mart Martel um, because I don't tend to do a whole lot of points in multi-ball, uh, but it is a pretty good strat to start out with. We're going to do the same thing here where we um, our initial strat of starting uh, to light Greyjoy over on the left orbit with our three shots. We're also picking up wall multi-ball progress with our upper lanes. You can see we got to five there. 
All right, we're gonna come back here. Okay, and now essentially we're gonna start shooting locks to light locks and then a center ramp to, lo to lock it. We have the option here again to play the houses, but we don't wanna play any houses because we wanna bring those into multi-ball. Gonna plunge to the upper there so we can get some more progress on our wall multi-ball. All right, left flipper's good because that's how I hit my lock shot. shooting that because it's happening, but probably shouldn't. This, this and Targaryen are my main go-to strats in general. And this is a strat that I think is really good for basic people to get a grasp under, because all you're doing is trying to get two modes going and get a multi-ball going. And then extend that multi-ball by hitting the button. And then if you get to the wall, then you can hit the button during the wall, or, or uh, hand to the king if you're in another ball. I think the other one would be, you, may, you want to show Baratheon? Because that's the other beginning strat. It's the same strat, but instead you have a ball save every ball. I want to do Martel. Okay. I'm more comfortable with this. Unbroken. So I'll be working on backhand and great joy until I got that done. Also, these drop targets over here will give you a uh, Lord of Light outlane save. There we go. That lit up. So now my outlanes are safe, at least for uh, one use. This is a game where easy post passes. It was easy on this game. I would post pass and then backhand that. But on this example, it's not. So now I start locking balls. Then eventually get Greyjoy and uh, Orlando Stern Greyjoy going. strat we're um basically we got our lock lit so we're going to short plunge to the right flipper we're going to shoot the lock and then we're going to try and get our third lock lit we're going to let the um game auto plunge to the pop so we can get some more well fuck it never mind we're going to uh, stark ramp to tyrell light lock I, I did the left orbit to get to the uh, to the left thing or to the right, um, and it started that hurry up. So that's what screwed me there. All right, so my my second ball locks late, so I'll take that. try and bring in other modes to this multi-ball if you want but the the red mode and the purple mode are the most like mindless modes you can play 
So they're, they're basically ones that are fan modes, so their shots are all over the play field. And the red mode is a mode that requires you to hit the stand-up targets, which basically makes it the most dangerous mode of all. So essentially, they're the best ones to bring into multiball. I would always recommend doing red and purple in multiball. And you'll see him, so like we said, Martel has the add -a ball. So you'll see him, as soon as he gets down to actually one ball, he has two right now, so as soon as he loses one ball, you'll see him hit the button and it'll restart or add a ball. So there's his super. You can keep hammering on that super for like 15 or 20 seconds before it starts over. Why didn't they need one? There you go. So these are uh, 58 million each. That was 76. 76. So the reason those are so high is because he's building up his playfield multiplier. You can see it down there at the bottom. 638, pretty solid. So I'm gonna go for Stark and Martel now. Yeah, so at this point you have to make a decision if you want to play one mode by itself to try and beat it and get extra ball, or if you want to play two by uh, two together to try and beat them both in order to get to Hand of the King. I would recommend tr probably trying to do one, especially if it's late game. If it's early game, you know, ball one, ball two, maybe try and play both together. All right, well. So we got our multi-ball there, so that's good. I don't expect to do as well. Um, I rarely get more than 150 uh, million out of this multi-ball, but we'll see. Like always, I'm mostly focusing on trying to finish the mode, or both the modes. Good start. There's three out of five shots, four out of five shots. Hit that for me, come on. You haven't finished your Lord of Light. So my Greyjoy timed out. Which sucks, but I can. I only have one shot left, so it should be pretty easy. I would like to finish Lannister, but it timed out too, so that's okay. We're gonna shoot center shot, try and get right back into those modes and finish them. I should have one shot for each, I think. I'm gonna go uh, right ramp here to right orbit. Come on now. There we go. All right, so let's look at what we got now. Are you gonna do Stark or are you gonna do Martell? Uh, well, I already have Martell lit and they're basically the same mode for me. Martell's a little bit harder because the orbits are a little more difficult, but I'm gonna go Martell. Because it is ball three, and my goal right now is just to try and get the extra ball. We're right next to Ski Ball, so that's what you're hearing. All right, I'm gonna backhand this first one. Let's see if I can. Uh, on this machine, you can actually, if you hit the left orbit in the, the, the uh, correct way, you can actually wobble it and get two switch hits. Here, like this. And there you go. I shouldn't have shot that. Okay, so extra ball. Extra ball is more important than the hurry up, so. And now, or now that we have the extra ball, 
I'm gonna go ahead and collect the hurry up. Our next goal is to get to Hand of the King. So Hand of the King's gonna be the only way that I can beat him points wise. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for Stark. All right, we're gonna try and start, start that bad boy up. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do, do four quick shots for Stark. Capture for the left orbit. Back around for Hand of the King. It's nice to actually have a night where you're like, here's what I'm gonna do, and then you do it. Okay, so goal here is to hit all the white shots and try and get all of them out of the way, and then we're gonna hit our super jackpot. At the um, battering ram. I'm gonna use this time to not do that. Damn it. Get up there. So I should still have my Martell ability, I think. I think your light would be lit, wouldn't it? I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna try it. I can't remember if I played. Pretty sure, yeah. Damn it. Yeah, don't do the right orbit whenever it's adding a ball. I, yeah, I was trying to hit the left because it will right there. Ignore it. Here we go. So I have to hit. Um, I have to hit these shots twice, and the reason for that is because we chose Stark as our starting house. So it actually makes everything more difficult. Is this time? I don't know. No, it's not. Okay, so we started, we got our super jackpot. We have our free 20 seconds of shooting. There's no ball save, but it's 20 seconds Martel, anyways. Man. Yeah, so no Martel. We only got 200 million out of that. Not the best. Brown, uh, the Brown Necklace is a premium and LE version that has an upper play field. Okay, so we lit another extra ball, that's great. And, um, and from here on out, we're just trying to get the wizard mode. I let that go because I hadn't hit any switches. I want a clean capture on the right flipper here. There we go. Alright, so extra ball. We also have mystery, so we might have something good at this point in the game. Uh, either light one of these houses or maybe uh, light extra ball. How'd you get that other extra ball? Okay, never get golden hand. So golden hand is like you think it's gonna be this really cool thing. Uh, it only gives you 500,000 points at the end of a ball. Yeah, I don't get it. It's a joke, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna keep it because I'm gonna try and get the extra ball. I think that second extra ball was just a, um, a pops award. So I'm, um, so well, yeah, let, let this pyro grab the end. Exactly. So my goal is probably, I don't like shooting these because you're going to lose your ball at some point. I think I maybe only have one more bank completion yeah. to light that house, but even that, I, I, I would almost rather go for hurry up. Where are you on wall? Have you already played it? No. But wall, there's not a lot of points in wall. Yeah, but you might use it that gets your mode. Yeah. So really it's just chopping wood at this point. It's kind of like, what do I want to go for? What do I think is... Um... I sometimes go into another Blackwater. It's 
pretty manageable to do. See, and if you look here, now I'm only two shots away from winter has come. Whoops, if I would have done that one correctly. I don't really want that thing. All right, I guess we'll just let it choose our fate here. It's stuck in the uh, drop targets. There we go. So our mystery is lit again. Um, I'm going to shoot it. You can check to see how much gold you have in your menu. OK, let's, let's check it. I'm only 30 million away from beating Patrick. Yeah, hell of a comeback. Okay, so I, I'm shooting for 4,500 uh, 4, gold for extra ball, so I'm gonna hold off on that. Those went down and came right back up. All right, so that will light our hurry up, and if we hit it one more time, we'll go straight into multi ball. Nice. He wants to dab. I'll dab for him. Thank you. So I got a lot of really good early shots on this thing. One more shot here. And now we're in the general mode. So we have to beat the general or he will freeze my flippers. We also should have our Martell ability, which I will forget about. So you can hear that. Well, no, you can't. So you qualify Martell when you get out of this, I think. Oh, you're talking oh, he, about your he froze, reward. So he, I, I did the add ball. He froze my flipper, so I have to hit the that center shot with the uh, right flipper in nice. order to, in order to unfreeze. That's so cool. It's cool because they, it does freeze your flipper, and you will lose the ball, but it also gives you a, a ball save. I got 3x going, so that's a yeah. big part of it. So how do you, can you beat him or anything? That was 1.8 billion. Wow, okay. That's really Yo. good, so let's see what it gives us now. Big puntos. Yeah, see, still nothing. I want I want the fucking extra ball, but it's trying to give me 150 million points. Like, you I care about goals? that. Yeah, it's actually less. So what it's it does RNG? is... No. It gives you... Maybe it won't give you an extra ball if you have an extra ball. Because you're on an extra, you're riding uh, on an extra ball. As far as I know, what it does is it offers you um, the, it offers you the award that you can, that you can purchase that is the highest price. So I have more gold than I need for an extra ball. So it offered me the next, uh, the next highest award. So Targaryen is these uh, three dragons you have to fight. And you have to have three stages, so you have to qualify three times. This is the first dragon. The first dragon is the middle ramp, the orbit, and then the dragon shot. And then they get progressively harder. The second one is similar, um, but your progress is saved. And then the third dragon, you have to get all in one go. And it can time out, too. The good thing is you don't have to qualify Targaryen more than once, so I can shoot for the second dragon right now.
Let's go. Hell yeah. All right, so that's the second one down. The third one is not going to be so easy. I believe that it... I don't know how progress works on this. You have to defeat the dragon by hitting the shots, um, and it, def it like lowers his health bar, but it takes a shit ton of shots. It's really hard. Yeah, it's really difficult. I've only defeated that dragon a handful of times. And this is what stopped so many people from getting to the Iron Throne. Throne. That's why I think they came up with a mode where you choose Tar uh, Targaryen and it's done. That was worth. Yeah, yeah. shots there. Did not expect to beat that one. That's a good game, though. Good game. G a G. All right. So what am I? What am I doing? Uh, I guess Martell and start. Or Martell just Martell for extra ball, so that's what I'll do. I personally don't like the um, the versions of this game with the upper playfield. I've, I've played a few. Um, it feels really cluttered to me, and I don't really enjoy the upper playfield aspect. Um, I, I think that this game, as simple as it may be, is like really really fun. to hit that left, that center ramp shot to cash out. It's just extra points. Stand. All right, so that finishes three modes, which means extra balls lit at the dragon. So um, he's going to try and capture and then shoot for that. Danger of the dragon shot. Why don't you go for? Uh, didn't you want to do one of those? You wanted to do a different mode. I gotta use this one. So uh, if you want to do so, oh Brathian. You were talking about doing Brathian. Oh yeah, just a or quick game, know. just to show them. I mean, yeah. it's whatever. It's not really a strat. Or do whatever you want. I just yeah. okay. Uh, I guess at this point, I'm going to try and actually get to wizard mode. I'm going to show you what I do to get to wizard mode. Okay, so uh, we're going to go Targaryen here. The reason for that is because, number one, we do not have to play Targaryen mode. Uh, that's great, right? So we don't have to beat those three dragons, which is super difficult. Also, you can see on the screen it says freeze timers. That will allow us to, especially during Blackwater Multiball, to complete um, Greyjoy and Lannister, hopefully very easily. I'm gonna continue my normal strat of uh, trying to light Greyjoy while also, well, trying to light Greyjoy first and then going lock shot to Lannister to try and do the, bring those two into Blackwater. Not like that. Yep, well, I wasted all my good shooting on last game, I guess. I 
There we go, we get our double there. Bing! Alright, left flipper, so we're gonna go light lock. Hopefully not lose the ball. And then lock shot. I don't think we're gonna be wizard mode this game. Two there. All right, now we got our um, our multi ball ready. Now I'm gonna do something I haven't done yet, and this is kind of something you can choose to do if you want. I'm gonna hit the battering ram. When I hit that battering ram, you can see that the blue arrow right there will light, it'll start flashing. If you hit that battering ram twice within a short period of time, it will light your play field multiplier. So this is something you can choose to do but right before you, well, any time really, but you, I like to choose to do it sometimes right before I go into multi-ball so I can have that play field multiplier ready for all the things I'm gonna be doing in multi-ball. That's the risk. We're gonna try it one more time. What are you trying to do? Uh, well, I didn't have a good first ball, so I'm trying to uh, not wizard mode shit. Start over. Yes. So we're gonna go um, battering ram twice, hopefully. Okay, we got it. So play field multiplier lit. Now, uh, when this ball comes down, I'm gonna shoot directly for the battering ram. I'm gonna try and start my play field multiplier first. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the center ramp first and then do it. All right, now we're gonna do it. There we go. And now we we hit one more time. We will get our two X going. So I got 600 million. Okay, let me explain what happened because <laughs> a lot happened in a very short period of time. All right, I did multi ball. I stacked the purple mode and the red mode with multi ball, which is totally normal what I always do, right? But you notice that I started the play field multiplier. Uh, right at the very beginning of the multi-ball. What that did is it allowed me to have 2x running the entire time that I played both of those modes, and that ended up allowing me to finish those modes and get 600 million out of just those two. But what happened with the mystery countdown and all that? The mystery was weird. So the, the extra ball was lit because I finished three modes. Uh, okay. I shot it in there, but instead of capturing the ball, it hit the switch in the back, and then, and then it came straight down the middle. So um, it just confused the game, I guess. But I got the extra ball anyway. Uh, okay, so for tournament strat, probably what I would do is, um, 
is basically the same thing that you're doing, only I would choose House Baratheon, the yellow house. And the reason I would choose that is Baratheon's active ability, the, the button ability right here, is uh, to do the Lord of Light, the ball save, once per ball. So if you, if you lose a ball in the out lane, um, if you can hit that button before you lose it, then you get the ball back. So that's pretty good in a, in a tournament setting. That's probably what I would do, I guess. So, so somebody asked, do you change up your strat for tournaments? That's what I was just answering. Okay, okay, yeah. I, I think that the Baratheon idea, I got that from one of the guys playing the tournament the other day. Um, that's what he does. And that's a pretty solid idea. Um, my turn, I, I usually don't have tournament strats. I don't really like tournaments very much. And I play for wizard mode. So I, I like long game. Um, I'm not really like all that great at figuring out what's going to be really good if I have like a, sh a two two house balls. I'm not really that guy. In my tournament strats Martel because it's my safety blanket. It's what I'm most comfortable with. Just try to get to a multi ball, two modes running, and then extend it if I need to. Let's see what we get out of mystery here. Yeah, see, still nothing really that great. You can you can get either one of those, but it's it's not worth much. That wasn't even Lord of Light. That was literally still my ball save. What am I doing? All right. Have you got uh, Lord of Light yet? No, but I don't. Yeah, I don't shoot for it. I, I lose the ball almost always in the middle. This game is not out lane uh, uh, bad. So I'm gonna try and do one more mode so I can get to Hand of the King. Maybe not. What do you want to do more Targaryen long game? What? Now that we're warmed up, you want to do yeah, Targaryen? Yeah. All right. All right. So we're gonna go for Iron Throne. Okay, so uh, at this point, we're gonna try and do uh, Iron Throne. It's definitely not guaranteed, um, but with um, the strategy that I've come up with, I can I can kind of get to it. I wouldn't say consistently, but I, I can do it every now and then. Um, and it basically consists of a lot of what we've already been doing. Uh, starting the game with Targaryen, that way we do not have to play the dragons. Also, it gives us the freeze timer button to be able to complete modes. Completing modes is the only thing we have to do to get to Iron Throne, so obviously that's the most important thing. Um, so we choose Targaryen. Damn. Uh, and then we're, we're starting just like normal. I'm gonna start with Greyjoy, and then, uh, and then bringing Lannister and Greyjoy into, into Blackwater Multiball. And if I can get those two completed, then we're on a, a good, good, uh, good track. Also, of course, um, using Greyjoy to get a little bit of progress on our uh, wall multi-ball up there. Not good, not good. Let's start this over. Nothing like air, like bubble, bubble hockey to bring the bros out. Bubble hockey and air hockey are the two games that people yell out at the most of. What's the first cross point? Do they do that? No. For, the, for the rest of the ball, you have to cross your hands. Channel points. 
that they earn from watching from hours and hours. We'd have to put our pants on backwards if we did that. Pretty good ball one if we're gonna show you that. Yes. Alex, cross it pushing right. <laughs> Left, you mean? You always push right. Always that way. Yeah, that's how oh, left. The other, the other one. All right. That's uh, winter has come. Don't panic. Should I choose Stark? No, Stark's easy to like. If it was uh, Baratheon or Tyrell, I would say, yeah, do that. So what am I going for now? What should I be going for? Martell and Stark? Yeah. There's Stark. Yeah, I guess it may be good late game to um Ball save to shoot uh, Baratheon or Tyrell. Yeah. Since they're the most dangerous. 
All right, I have these two lit. So my my opinion is three center ramps real quick, left orbit, and then you do orange mode. Three center three center ramps, three left orbit, center ramp, essentially. What about now? Uh, do left orbit. Once you hit left orbit, it starts the timer, and you have to hit three within, well, you have, you have 10 seconds for each one. Hmm. I think technically the timer for um, the start mode is a little longer. But once you start orange mode, you probably want to try and finish it. It should, hard, it should go all the way around. So I can shoot the another shoot shot. Center ramp. That's hand of the king. What, what was your question? I don't have to shoot the shot though to finish this mode. Correct, but you do at least have to time it out. Oh, so it goes right into hand I, of the king. I said shoot it because you get points plus you you're gonna shoot that ramp anyway as soon as it times out. Okay. Hand of the king's all the shots and then the dragon. That was weird. Martel shot wasn't lit. I wonder if that's. Uh, to be All the shots, and then what's the finisher on this one? Um, oh, okay, never mind. Uh, the four shots you see, and then super is the battering ram. Okay, battering ram. Do I want to extend this? My, my what? My Targaryen thing? No. Uh, there's no timers going on right now. If you got a playfield multiplier, I would say maybe. Damn it! That was 135. At this point, um, you want to. There you go. You want to light those two. So. Uh, yeah, not, not too bad. Uh, you want Where's to, my wall? If mystery's lit, you want to shoot mystery. If mystery's not lit, you essentially want to start trying to hammer out these two and light those. So Tyrell and Brathian? Yes. Do I want to? Okay. I can't use. I can't start a multi ball to uh, work on those. No. Super dangerous shots. Yep. You got one though. One million points. There's a red button on the left side over there. No problem. Damn it, Alan. Okay. I think it is. Nice. 
So this is the setup here. So uh, basically what you want to do is, let's see, um, before you do this, scroll through, let's see how close you are to wall. Oh, you got one more target, one more, okay. Okay, so um, you have two balls locked for Blackwater. It's better to have Blackwater because that's three balls. So what I would try and do is, it's up to you, this is your choice, because I think it's ball three, right? Yeah. You can either play those two modes and try and beat them with single ball play, or you can try and light this lock and then bring it into Blackwater. So we have a really dangerous lock shot and then up the middle. Yeah, so uh, he's gonna try and light his lock. Awesome. And now the goal here is to, I wouldn't shoot that, but you can if you want. I'm just gonna time it out. You definitely want to time it out, because if you shoot your lock shot right now, you can't choose houses. Yeah. 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 Okay, so he has this this um, uh, hurry up running. If he shoots the lock shot right now, it's his, it's his third lock, uh, but it won't let him choose the two houses that he wants to play. It's a dumb, I guess it's a feature. I don't know, it's stupid. So he's gonna time out the hurry up. He's gonna shoot the center ramp to lock the third ball. And then he's gonna choose the last two houses and hopefully complete those two houses. Hopefully complete those two houses in multi-ball. Now, Baratheon. Is this gonna time out? Yeah, it will eventually. Baratheon is left orbit. Left orbit lights dragon shot. Dragon shot lights the three bank. It's only three shots. Tyrell is alternates between ramps, lock shot, ramp, lock shot, ramp, lock shot. That will be the hardest one to get because it's actually specific shots. Um, I don't know if this is gonna time out without hitting a switch. Yeah, you may be right. That may be a new code thing. Super dangerous. So it's saying shoot the dragon shot because wall multi balls ready, but it's actually better to bring uh, Blackwater into this. God damn. All right. Yeah. Uh, so if it were me, when that ball comes down, I would shoot left orbit first. Right. Try and hit that left orbit, which is going to light dragon shot. Dragon shot's hardest shot to hit, so you want to get that lit as soon as possible. I'll, I'll tell you what to hit if I can. So that counted. So dragon and center ramp. Also, I have my Targaryen. Uh, I'll, I'll get it for you. Damn it! Dragon. Oof. So really any shot you see lit. There you go. So that two bank and then the dragon. If you hit the dragon, it will start wall multi-ball. Yeah. That's very clutch. Okay, so uh, three bank will finish the mode. I'd hit that. You'll hit it. You'll hit it no matter what. But I would hit it first in case it times out. You don't have to. Yeah. There you go. So now focus on green. There you go. Center ramp or right ramp. So green mode's timed out. Okay. So now just, I would recommend trying to make sure you have a ball, a ball left at the end of this, you know? Okay. At this point, it's more important than the multi-ball. So that's a super. Let's see how much that super was worth. Uh, doesn't tell us. Okay. Um, 
<laughs> All right, so you only have a few shots left on Tyrell, probably like four or five. Mystery could light at a ball. I think this might be the last loop. Damn it. So he lit Iron Throne and lost the ball. That sucks. That was the first time you ever got there, right? No? Can I get some Epsom chat, please? <laughs> Fuck! Oh, hey, Birmingham. That's where I'm from. Are you a Bumper Nets dude? I used to work there. Get this game over with real quick. Dude! Oh, cool. So mad. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, I was up there uh, about a week and a half ago and came in and played. The lineup there is really great now. All right, we're gonna go for that again. It's uh, the only the only place in the world with three Avengers pins, I think, right? <laughs> okay, so um, we're gonna try and get to wizard mode and then actually get into it this time. Oh yeah, we didn't say we didn't say start it. Uh, go accomplished. But the cool thing is you did get to see the strat and you saw it work. Uh, so you can see what um, that is definitely what I would recommend as far as uh, which modes to team up with other modes and when to do them. I think I think that's about as optimized as I could get it. I'll take that. Yeah, Avengers are really bad. At least those um, actually play well. Like they 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 work. All the ones I've played, we have one. Um, I have one actually a couple blocks from where I live. And it plays like shit. A bunch of stuff's broke on it. Well, it's been routed from day one and hasn't been yeah. fixed once. I really, um, I really want to play it because I, I played it so little because it sucks so much that I want to learn it, but can't. Much better ball one. All right, again, so black water with red and purple. You'll see me use the button. As, well, you won't see me use the button, but I will use the button at some point to stop the timers, primarily for, um, for Greyjoy, stupid Greyjoy mode. Unless, never mind. Thirty-nine. I need to hit that red shot. Thirty-five. I wonder why that was uh, wasn't at two X. 
I think I can explain it, but hold on. All right, great. Nope, shit. I take it back. All right, great. Shit. Still need more shots. Come on, man. Thank there you. you. Nice. All right. Not what I meant to do. Sorry. This guy. I know, I had to. That's gonna be another double. Was that a double? No, that's a single. Oh, thank you. That's much better for me. So, um, what you saw was, I think the 1x was the the shot multiplier. The 2x was the playfield multiplier. So it gave me it gave me twice what you saw. So remember, it shows the the shot multipliers up here. No, but like after you started 2x, you hit the super jackpot. Oh, and it gave you the playful multiplier instead of the super jackpot? Well, I don't think it... I think it gave me what I deserved. I think it showed the shot oh. multiplier. Oh, Light Tyrell. So I'm definitely going to take Light Tyrell here. So that's great. That keeps me from having to Light Tyrell later on. So now what are you going for? Not dying. Uh, so at this point... I want to try and light Stark and Martell. That's my next goal, is to tag those two together. Also making progress on my wall multi-ball up there. You're down to one left. What? Completion. One well, more set. Oh. I was like, what? What are you talking about? Okay, so doing well. We're gonna stack white and orange together. That's a really good good stack here. So three middle shots, then orbit, cash out. Now he has two more orbits and then the middle shot. My wall multi ball is ready too, which is great. Cool. So we're in a great spot here. Hand of the King. Booyah. I'm actually going to um, prioritize the battering ram to try and get 2x going. do it because I'm going to shoot mystery and try and bring a uh, wall multi-ball into this. I'd like to have Bar Baratheon as well, but I don't have that choice. 
That's great. So that's the first shot of Tyrell mode, and uh, we're gonna start multi ball. So hopefully we can. We're gonna. I'm not not gonna worry about the multi ball shots as much as I am the green shots for Tyrell to try and finish that. like this. Good first ball. What's the second ball, right? I think it's ball one. Yeah. Oh shit. Alright. Oh shit. Yeah, so we're in good shape. Now um from here, what we want to do is we want to hit mystery because there's a good chance it'll allow us to light Baratheon uh by just spending gold, like a small amount of gold, and that would be awesome. Um, I think you might just have one more completion for Baratheon as well, though. I think these right here show you the completions. They do. And none of them are lit, so... But you have, have you, haven't you got Lord of Light already? I don't I don't know. I think you have, so I think you're on the last one. But I'd like to see the dragon track. I shouldn't have done that. Or mystery. It's just a dangerous thought. I'm trying to pass it to the right flipper by doing this, and that one I wasn't. I was actually trying to hit targets that time, and I fucked it. Should I just plunge this out? So, so you're continuous? I'm going to do that. I'm just going to plunge my, my ball so he can continue. something with our fucking ball this time. Yeah, that is, I don't know why that's happening, because... Yeah, me either. Could be a game malfunction. Very weird. I don't know what to do, honestly. Go for the lower ones. I don't say lit. There's one progression, so yeah, you still have. <laughs> yeah, you still have a lot more of drop targets to go for. I wonder if there's anything you can do. The that. only thing I can do is try and hit this and light mystery. Oh, yeah. And shoot it again. Please! That's RNG. Rathian button ability is not what I want. Damn it, Dwight. I don't even know what Baratheon... Oh, that's the... It didn't give me the mode, so... 
Yeah. What's that ball save? All right, damn it. Let's do it the hard way, boys. Hard way. What about winners come? You finished three I of them can, already. but that's not going to give me the wizard mode. No. He has one more winner to come. I guess I'll just hit the spinner all fucking day. I did it. Was that a single or a, day, a double? I don't know. Sorry, I had to. Oh, I did it. I lit Baratheon. Yeah, that's right. So you can actually light houses in this mode, which is bizarre. I think you did it right before you did No, I didn't. I watched it. So I only have three shots to get to wizard mode. Left orbit, dragon, drop targets. I did not want to have to do it from here. I counted. Damn it, I was so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, I'm gonna pull it back. Wait, you, you can wait for my turn and we can move it back on my turn. No guarantees. I'll do my best. Boy, literally the only time I've done that all night. Not good.
See it. Can we call it or we keep, keep on going? I think we might be able to get there. All right. Single player or double? What do you think? Whatever you want. Uh, I only did that. I only did that cash out because uh, you were so close. Oops. Yeah, I wonder what's going over. I feel like I might, my brain might be shot at this point. I might have used it all on that last one. That's one completion. Woof. Yeah, I think I'm starting to wolf shots as well. That was bad. Thank you. 
bloody Baratheons. worried about the super as I am the red shots. Of course I only have that one left. That's great. Nice. And now he's super. Extra ball, nice. Try to do. You could have flicked the ball at the other ball, but it's not easy. I was, so now I was already thinking about what I was doing after multi ball. That was, that was okay. a big part of the problem. So now you're going for Stark and Martell? Yeah, I already got Martell, so I mean so, Stark. There you go. So that extra ball was from a mystery award or something. Are you going to no, do Martell? It was from, and start it was from getting. Those, oh, those two three? in the multi ball. Okay, yeah. I didn't see the top. Yeah. 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 Three center shots? Or three orbits? No, I don't know. Give me that second one. Nice, so one more orbit and then the middle shot. Nice. I got three uh, middle shots. That finished Martell. Uh, one orbit. There we go. There's Stark and Martell done. And Hand of the King is ready. The middle. Nice. And then when he gets out of this, all he has left to do is Baratheon and Tyrell. Light Baratheon and Tyrell. Which is uh, drop targets on the left. I think so. Yeah. What if your Martell shots will count too? I don't know if that counts or not, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's done. So now try maybe Tyrell shots. Might still give you progress on it though. Yeah, it got solid. Oh, that lit wildfire. Hmm. Oh my God. I don't understand why people are going crazy about toilet paper. You can literally shit outside and use a hose. <laughs> like, to clean your butt. Like, what's the... Why is toilet paper being sold out everywhere? Or you can take a bath. Water, you can you can boil water to make it clean. Like, uh, doesn't make any sense. Oh, nice save. What does wildfire again do? I don't remember. Your, um, okay. <laughs> the hose, I like that the hose is the first recommendation. Uh, I mean, you know, it's right there, dude. I, I, I guess it's because I took it to the hose because I said shitting outside. What is the Martell button activity? It's not holding the ball until they add it.
So you guys have been stock stockpiling toilet paper from what I take it then. <laughs> Welcome, KB Slasher, Bits and Brights, Cone Gion, Watch His Toes, Pez. Thanks guys for hanging out. <laughs> I mean, you guys haven't shit outside before? Man, it would take a lot. It would take a lot to not have running water. And if it's bad or, or if it's contaminated, then you could just boil it. Or at the worst case scenario, you just put bleach in it. And that would clean it. So you're stuck at Baratheon again, huh? Oh man, that's crazy. Don't you Nice save. Alright. Ooh, baby. That's pretty. If anybody has any strats for getting Tyrell and Lannister done easily, or ideas for that. So it didn't it didn't save any of the progress that you made in the winners in the hand of the king. There you go, now. Oh wait, do I wanna? You want what? <laughs> what? Get wall ready? <laughs> Not Cam from the lamp. Thank you for following. Yeah, if any of you guys aren't following, would appreciate it. One more advance for wall to get that ready. Ball one still. said you can always purify water by adding chlorine or uh, bleach. It's not good for you, but it'd be edible. Oh. Alright, so he's just concentrating on his... He finished breathing already. Now he just has the green shots and then the, uh, the two stand-up green targets to the right. There we go. All right, you're ready to go. I did it? Yeah, you're ready to go after, ready. when you get out of this. Here we go, so here's Iron Throne. <laughs> Ball one! Ball one, Iron Throne. I'm glad we did another game. All right, so this is really cool. Um, you gotta hit all the shots. You're actually fighting all the houses one by one. I'm not gonna talk. So now you're fighting Baratheon? Yo, X, thank you so much for the uh, two months in a row subscription. You should have, which I haven't seen yet, Shadesrick for your icon. Dude, look, it's I'm excited about. I just added it a couple days ago. Of course, being Shades from Hebariki, mixed with Gimmick. You stay in Iron Throne for the rest of the rest of the game, so that's good. So you guys will get to continue to see this. Bat. Nice. I gotta get that backhand. Boom. Alright, so super should be lit, I think. Yeah, here we go. Dude, X, it looks so good. So getting the super 
moves to the next day. And it gives you out of it. Oh, so now you're on Greyjoy. Or Baratheon. Nice. And super split. That adds a ball. I'm trying to hit the super, the battery ram, on the very right side of the actual ram itself. Yeah. Saves a lot of accidental fucking bullshit. Okay. No idea what that red shot is. I think he's in the Lannister one now. Nice not just I wonder if it's both those shots. Ooh. Yes it was. Alright, super slit now. Adds balls again. Less shots every time. There we go. That's more like it. Yeah. Got lit more shots. All right. G. G. Even though you're still going, you get out of this. Now it's my game, guys. So, uh, three million to three billion NBD. I got this. Because TLC was playing, you got hyped up, man. I'm looking around to see all the hot ladies that they noticed, but I don't think any of them noticed. Oops. Got lucky there. Super. He's got two X for this, too. I lit more shots. <laughs> Shot was worth six hundred million.
Only 21 bonus. I would think it'd be higher. 21 bonus? Yeah, 21 million. Bonus in this game's weird, man. Sometimes it's huge, though. All right, damn it. Let's see what we can do. Don't hit that switch, thank you. I'm fucking it, guys. Yep, I'm done. My shots are done. Yeah. Good game, though. Good game. GG. A little late, Croc. <laughs> oh, there you go. We did it, chat. Yeah. Goal accomplished. I think today went really well. Guys, thanks for hanging out. Uh, this will be put up on YouTube here to, to watch the archive. Thank you, Alan, for... Of course, for always uh, helping up on stream, and uh, Larry for hosting. Well, uh, I'm not sure what's next. Like I say this every every week, but um, I'm gonna be. You know, I think the new CPS one uh, core is gonna drop Friday, so I'll probably do something Friday or Saturday along that line. And uh, I'm not sure what pinball will uh, what pinball will be on, but I'll probably try to get out of the house again. So um, yeah, maybe something at, at uh, reboot, but. Thanks for hanging out, and uh, we'll see you soon. Let's look for somebody to host. See if any uh, pinball is going on.